Dundalk TV is with Mel Reby, and Mel just wrote a book about epilepsy. Uh, we have interviewed Mel in the past, but we are so uh, happy that he has successfully gotten his book out there, and it's on Amazon right now. So, um, uh, Mel, tell us why you wrote the book. Uh, I wrote the book because I just want to bring awareness to people that don't have epilepsy and know what to do to uh, if someone has a seizure. And what is the uh, what have you seen uh, when somebody has a seizure that you just a little bit? I don't want you to give away the book, but just um, a little bit of what you've seen and and what you're trying to tell people. This if someone has a grandma seizure, just let them go. Just make sure nothing's in the way, so they won't hurt yourself at all. And I assume call nine one one at that point in time. If if it's yeah. Well, well, people won't know. They they they're not experienced. So if they, if if you see if they, somebody having a seizure, I think the best thing to do is to call nine one one. Yeah, yes. that'd be your best choice. Yes. Okay. Now, did you have anything from the book that you wanted to share that was? Uh, Important to you? Yeah. Um, I was I was home for Home Depot. I'm still with Home Depot now for almost 16 years, and they support me a lot. Congratulations, and I and I thank Home Depot at the same uh, time because uh, so many people uh, that have disabilities find roadblocks where they can't find employment. I'm so happy that you you were able to find something that suited you and that they're working with you. They're, they're like my family for 16 years. They support me and my wife. I don't know how many times. It's a, it's a good journey. And they're making a huge difference in your life. Wonderful. And, and look, and because they've been helping you out, you have done many things. You became a epilepsy ambassador. Mm -hmm. uh, you shared that with us uh, last time. That's mm -hmm. what you were talking about on the last video. And, and now you have a book uh, uh, out. Yeah, um, I'm also a, um, I'm one of the board of directors with Billy's Network. And I'm not familiar with Billy's Network. What is Billy's, Billy's Network? Billy's Network is for the, um, Billy's Network helps um, people with epilepsy. They do what their goals. They come inside if I want to do something or go outside and get a job, they'll help you out. Oh, excellent. Well, I'd, I'd like to hear more about Billy's uh, network uh, in, in the future. So uh, now share a little bit uh, of what you had from your book that you found important that you wanted to share with everybody, please. Um, the What I did for two years with my um, with Billy's network and my work Home Depot, we went on a walk. We had a walk for uh, Billy's Network. And um, I asked my coworkers from Home Depot if they wouldn't mind coming. And they did and they did it right there for me the last two years. How wonderful. Now, where's Billy's Network out of? Is that uh, from the state of Maryland? Mm -hmm. or is it's it? in Towson. Okay, and do they do they do state? I mean, state, global, uh, nationwide? No, or? just state. Just state. Okay, well, great. Um, sounds like a wonderful organization. I've been with them for thirty years. Did they help you through your process? Did they mm -hmm. help you with Home Depot? Okay, okay. So you are a recipient of their um, kindness. Yeah. Excellent. What a beautiful story. Okay, so um, did you have any a passage or anything from the book that you wanted to read? Um. And some of them is like for um, education wise. Yes. It's for like um, in the United States, we only got 75 million people who are diagnosed with it. But some people don't know 2.3 million people in the U.S. is diagnosed every day. It's half a million people in New York City. Mm. Well, um, one of the things is I tried to bring brain injury awareness every day, so I'll take the opportunity a little bit here, is I suffered, uh, I suffered from blackout seizures, and uh, seizures are horrible. Um, and um, 
the seizures that I had actually weren't the type that that made me fall on the ground or anything. They were mm -hmm. the type of seizures that I couldn't remember what happened. So I would I would just black out. Um, now I, no one told me that I was on the ground or anything like that. I just had something happen to me where I said, "Hmm, it happened again," <laughs> and very unpleasant experience. Right. Um, so, uh, but we had talked something about um, in the past about uh, that you had sleeping that you were concerned about falling out of bed because mm -hmm. you can have seizures so right. that, that was something very important because i've actually talked to people that suffered brain injuries from falling out of bed so somebody that has epilepsy if they fall out of bed then they can have a dual uh problem they get epilepsy and they can have a traumatic brain injury on top of it so what yeah. did you do to counter that um i uh when I had seizures, I made sure anything's in the way. I just pushed them out to make sure um, I'm not hitting anything to hurt my head or hurt myself. Well, that's really important. You don't want to hurt your head, that's for sure. Or you got people around them. You can tell them if he has a seizure or she has a seizure, just move like the desk or anything else. So when they do fall, It would be it would be much safe for a person to have a seizure right there, so it wouldn't hurt them. Okay, so did you lower your bed uh, at all to to uh, protect yourself? No, I didn't have to. You know? I, I have my wife; she takes care of me. Okay. All right. Well, that's a good thing. That's always a good thing that you have somebody there for you. Okay. Now, uh, how long did it take you to write your book? It took me three years to write it. And uh, you, we were talking a little bit about book writing um, uh, before before this uh, video started. So yeah. um, you found somebody that was uh, very kind that helped you out um, in the process of finishing mm -hmm. the book up. So mm -hmm. talk a little bit about that, if you would. Um, my friend is Jim Burke. He, he's um, a president of my bowling league that I bowl on Friday nights called the Friday Night Merrymakers. And he... It was the first year, last year, my first year, and he found me on Facebook, and he came up to me and goes, I didn't know you were an author. I said, yeah. He goes, you got anything written? I said, well, I got my first book. He goes, well, why don't you send an email to me and let me see it? I said, okay. So I sent it to him. It, it really got to him how I wrote the book in any way and how. This is good. I said, like, yeah, I, I try. And um, it, it's just, it's, it's just great. What, when I write, it's just, it just comes to the heart. And that's the way I write, too. It, it, it works out really well. It just flows right out of you. Right. But the, the importance here, I, I would say, um, is how kindness uh, when somebody is kind i love the acts of kindness that people are doing yeah. and uh so you know you took all this time to to write your book and mm -hmm. you're getting a message out there and uh, unfortunately um some of us have different strengths and uh, uh if we didn't have the help and the kindness of someone else like your friend jim um we, we couldn't succeed and, and i've right. had many people help me throughout my journey with a traumatic brain injury. And now I'm helping other people and uh, it, it feels so good. And, and to help somebody else that is dealing with issues that, that they are clueless about, um, it, it just feels so good to be able to point somebody in the right direction. And let me thank Jim right now. Jim, thank you very much uh, for helping my friend Mel. Um, and um, just what a wonderful act of kindness that is. So, um, what is the name of your book, Mel? Uh, my book's name is called Living with Epilepsy. It's about me living with epilepsy and how I can get educated. How different states, different uh, children's hospitals and what they do for their children right there, right at children's hospitals. Now, now talking about children, you, you were a child when you suffered your your uh, first uh, epileptic attack. Yeah, I was like eight years old. 
So uh, share just a little bit about that and just, you know, what you kind of learned a little bit without giving the book away, of course, um, and just uh, and and um, just to kind of clue people into maybe the early signs of, of what uh, m might give an indication that someone is suffering uh, from an epileptic attack. I mean, when I was young, I, got, I had my first seizure when I was eight years old. Um, one to seven, I had a normal child life. Uh, I was made fun of and everything else. But that made me a stronger person who I am today, right now. So are you saying they made fun of you after the, the uh... before I before I got diagnosed with oh, it. Oh, okay. And once I heard I was diagnosed, I felt scared. I felt afraid. I felt hiding somewhere. Um, it's not epilepsy. is not fun. I live with it every day. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, it's, it's not curable. Um, there was a lady in, in Texas. Her name is Sam. And they have Sam's Law. And what it is, is that part of Texas, all the um, teachers right there have to go through a certain course so if somebody had a seizure in their classroom they would know what to do and that's they, important they, they passed it in the state of texas now i'm trying to get it passed here in the state of maryland so all the teachers here in maryland could be educated for it and maybe teach it to their kids too well, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm, I'm, you know, I've been doing all I can to educate as many people as possible. And I would love for the school systems to start doing a questionnaire at the beginning of the year and saying, do you know what a traumatic brain injury is or do you know what TBI is? And um, on that questionnaire, I would also like for them to ask if anyone in their family has a disability and how that disability affects them and how people don't understand it outside of uh, their family. And I think that that would really uh, move things forward quite a bit and we could really educate a lot of people. So that's, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm in your corner on that and uh, just um, educating our, our children and then, you know, have them take that information home as well. And uh, I think it just could be a huge learning experience. Yeah, it is. Okay, now anything else you want to add? Um, I did a couple of years ago. Um, you see my shirt, Angels of Epilepsy. It's a nonprofit organization in Atlanta, Georgia. I wrote two newsletters for them, and it got published. Excellent. Now, have you had... It, I, I don't know. I know that people have the... Um, traumatic brain injury, but I've never heard that um, someone that with a brain injury kind of started. I, I've heard of people having many um, seizures, but but do they? Do you have any idea if they um, develop uh, epilepsy at, at all? Can, can can they? Could could they from from a traumatic brain injury um, suffer some form of epilepsy? Um, if they can. If it's from a brain injury, they could. Yes. Okay. I would say yes. Okay. I, well, I know that, that the, the seizures can be very prevalent, and, and maybe there's, you know, something that parallels, uh, but I'm not sure whether or not they would be diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury. Now, um, medications. Um, so, just want to talk about those. Uh, recently, I tried the um, cannabis oil, mm -hmm. and, and, and I, I tried that for the pain that I'm dealing with. Um, so I, I don't want to go on to the, the opiates and um, I drank a, a little bit of beer here and there um, for uh, the past few years to help take the pain away. But the pain has been getting um, increasing, worse and worse. And um, the cannabis oil has taken the edge off. Um, and, and on top of that, I don't want to drink every day. Um, so uh, I, and I need I, I would really like to have some kind of relief that the cannabis oil 
did make a difference. Now, have you heard of anybody um, with, I've heard that, that cannabis oil or, or, or cannabis, cannabis products uh, actually, so it wouldn't be the well, oil, um, it would actually be medical marijuana actually mm -hmm. does help people out that, that have seizures from uh, traumatic brain injury. So uh, what do you see in that area and, and have you tried that yourself? No, I haven't tried it out. Um, I have an um, implant put in my system. It's called the Mega Stimulator. Um, I have a magnet right here that stops the seizures. I had it since, I had it for 25 years. I was on uh, local news for it. Um, and it works. And it works very good too. I mean, that used to be then, now it's got the legal in the marijuana and all everything else and that that works now. Mm -hmm. But you have something that's working well for you now. So yeah. you're so you're managing. Um it's life is not easy. You're still dealing with uh with um seizures from time to time, mm -hmm. but you're managing. You're living a full and productive life, which yeah. is uh, very important. Um, I have a family, I have a wife, I have grandchildren, great grandchildren, I have stepsons who love me dearly. Well, you're a very likable guy. Well, thank you very much for doing this interview, Mel, and uh, best of luck on your um, uh, book. And uh, I think that copy that you have, you signed that to me, didn't you? I did. Well, let me have it. <laughs> there you go. And thank you so much, Mel. Uh, Not a problem. Best of luck.